That's gorgeous. Hey everyone, today we're looking at Westwood's Solo Winds Untamed. Now this is a really deep woodwinds library, which includes five different woodwind instruments as well as over 2,300 unique improvisations and dozens of other articulations. So there's a lot to explore here, so let's dive in. So this is the GUI for Solo Winds Untamed, and it includes the flute, clarinet, bassoon, oboe, and also the baritone saxophone. And each of these instruments contain 21 articulations, which include human improvisations. And in my opinion, these instruments sound absolutely fantastic. They were recorded really well. And all the instruments have four different mics that you can choose from. You have a spot mic, which is a super close and detailed mic. Then you have a stereo close mic, stereo room, and stereo gallery. So you really have everything that you need as far as super close and intimate sound all the way to a really big gallery sound. So I have the flute pulled up and first I'll just show you the longs. Let me do some swells with these lungs with the CC1. Now with the flute, I wanted to go through all of these different articulations so that you know what each one sounds like. But I wanted to start with just the lungs and shorts. So here's the shorts. Now let me add a little reverb to that. Now this next one is definitely one of my favorites. This is the soft air articulation. And then after this, I'm going to go through some of the improvs. Dynamics down. Now listen to that again, this time with a little reverb. Just beautiful. That's one of my favorite articulations is the soft air. And the soft air is an articulation you can find in all the instruments, and it sounds great on every single one. Now I'm going to turn off the reverb and go through some of the improvisations. So first, improve. Let me play an octave here. Improv B. Improv C. Improv D. In the middle of the GUI, you see you have this key switches button, and you can turn that on so you can go through the different articulations using key switches. So that's obviously nice because that allows you to create performances where you can switch from longs or shorts or improvs or 
soft air or anything that you like. Next I want to show you the storms and I really like these as well. Add a little reverb to that. Next, you have the surges soft. Here's the surges loud. So with the surges, as soon as you let off the keys, the surge ends, which I really like because you can kind of define the exact length that you want for each surge. Here's your vibrato slow. Vibrato fast. Next we have some articulations which are intervals, so let me play those for you. So first the thirds. Now the fifths. Here's the octave interval. Next we have flutter. Here's the trills. with reverb. With the bends. Here's the swells long. Lastly, we have the pops. Next, I want to show you the microphone mixer section. You have four different mic groupings to choose from. The spot mic is a mono, super close mic. Then you have the stereo close mics, you have stereo room mics, and stereo gallery mics. And I'll go through and show you what each one sounds like using the flute long patch. Here's the spot mic. Close mics. Room mics. And lastly, the gallery. And here's a blend of all the mics. In the performance section, you also have this vibrato slider, which means you can add vibrato to every single articulation. So for instance, here's the longs without vibrato. Here's with. width. 
So the articulations are pretty much the same for all five instruments. So I don't want to go through all the articulations again, but I will show you each instrument with the long so you can hear the quality of the instrument. Here's the clarinets. show you the different dynamics in the clarinets. Here's the bassoon longs, and I'll start with the lowest note. Here's the oboe longs. And lastly, the baritone saxophone longs. Here's the highest note on the baritone sax, and the lowest note. Actually, while we're in the baritone sax folder, I have to show you the shorts. <laughs> Lastly, they include a multis folder, which includes several of the instruments blended together, and these sound fantastic. So I'll just play three of these for you. So this one's called Rise and Fall. This one's called Deep Reads, and it includes a lot of the improvisation, so I'm just holding a G minor chord and listen to what it does. Here's a C chord. Let me play that again, this time with some reverb. That's gorgeous. And the last one I'll play for you in the Maltese folder is called Westwood Longs All. So this is all of the longs combined, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. with reverb. So I hope you got some value out of this video today and I want to say thank you to Westwood for letting me try out this library. And I have to say this is probably the last woodwind library I'll ever really need because it just covers so many bases and it sounds fantastic. And if you would hit that like button, that helps me out so much. And also subscribe to this channel. I put out new videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.